How you doing? How you been? Life got heavy, didn't it? Don't be shy. Speak your mind. I'm not perfect, nor are you. But we both got things we've been through. So I'll do all I can. I'll try to understand. Cause I wanna love strangers like neighbors I wanna be unafraid So when the tears roar like waterfalls You can call my name And when the weight of the world's on your shoulders I will hold you I will hold you And when the nights only see to be back out on the River Trent again. Welcome back to um, part four of my River Trent barbel fishing vlogs. Now as you can see we're on the pretty infamous stretch of the River Trent, uh, the Tidal Trent which I'm sure most of you guys will already probably know. Uh, we're on Collingham, the 200 stretch and we're slap bang out the car park. Any of you guys can come and fish it on the day ticket. I'm a Collingham member luckily so I get to fish it for nothing, well next to nothing, a, year, a, a minimal yearly membership which is absolutely great for me. Now, we've been here a couple of hours, we've had a few casts. As you can see, we've got three rods out on the dance floor, two rods out for barbel, and then the one on the single bank stick that you've seen for the Xander and Pike, mainly Xander. Now, we haven't had out as yet, well, we've had two little perch on the maggot feeder rod. As you can see, we've got the light barbel rod set up at the minute, and while it's daylight, because it's not been fishing too great. Now, I've brought four pints of maggots along with me today. We're just gonna try that throughout the days and uh, hope on the night that they get on the big baits and uh, big cage feeders. My normal tactics, standard tactics for the trend. Yeah, fingers crossed we get to bank a few barbel for you, so I'm gonna stop blabbering on, and fingers crossed it's not long until I've got a barbel on the bank for you guys. Come on.
evening commencers and nothing else to report unfortunately. Um, I've had a um, three perch and a good gin on the magic feeder. And, um, no signs of any chubba barblers yet. But as you can see it's dropping dark the witching hour of the, the night. And fingers crossed uh, it, it kicks off. Whoa. It kicks off. Um, this is on the Collingham stretcher I'll have this three rods so I've got the Xander rod down there and that's Lovely, in line with that big tree, just off the margin there, down up there, not very far out, just off the shelf there's like a like a, a, a rocky shelf and then it drops off and I've got it just on that drop off so, fingers crossed, that rips off tonight, I've got two live baits like I say, I've got that gudgeon and that perch, so uh, I'm still, I've still got the maggot rod out as we speak and I'm going to try and catch as many as I can before nightfall because Xander um, are a bit more active throughout the night and there is quite a few on the stretch so uh, yeah hopefully fingers crossed we'll come back to the PV Xander and uh, if not the barbell might play ball but if not I'm going to find an evening for it steak tonight, fillet steak um, we've got these like square herb potatoes and asparagus, so we're eating good even if the fish aren't. But I'm sure there will be. And I'm sure it won't be long until we've got a barbell on the bank. So I'll stop blabbering on. As you can see, uh, the rain's just started, and uh, I've been waiting for this today. And um, yeah, well, we've, been, we've all been waiting for this for a long time now, uh, as river anglers. So come on, this is uh, forecast for the next week, and uh, we're fishing for another two nights. So, um, well, for two nights, should I say? So fingers crossed. This extra water will get them going, and it's just sometimes I fish the Trent. Um, I can remember when I was a kid with my granddad, uh, fished on the 70s on the Collingham stretch and there were a big tide, which they are forecast now, they're like 7 metre tides and we got forced that far up the bank, we were literally fishing at top of the bank, flood bank and in normal summer conditions and we both got about 20 barbell apiece, 15 barbell apiece, it was nuts they haven't been fishing very well so they're out there, they're hungry, so let's hope the next few days we can land a couple. I've got loads of bait with me, as you've seen. Loads of different baits to try. I've got my pike and zander rod out as well, just down the side there. I've fished this stretch actually this season and I've had my um, personal best river chub, river trent chub of seven pound two, I think it was. which was just down near the wall you can see that wall down there it was just down there uh, casting near that wall right over to that wall um, with big 10 ounce leads and I was catapulting boilers over them getting ready for the night shift boys get them in you yeah. no two reporters yet um, whoop Apart from the three perch. Keep my energy up. Waiting for high tide. Comes to about here high tide, so as you can see, absolutely does more. It covers that complete island over there. So yeah, we've got a bit to wait yet. So um Yeah, it's not looking good, but hopefully tonight. High tide, we get a few fish. No, it's um, 
I'm getting to the stake o'clock now. Well, that's took longer than expected. I've absolutely struggled those tits off. I've tried absolutely everything in my armory. Um, we've tried all last night. Um, I even woke up on high tide, set an alarm, woke up high tide, fished through that, and still no go, but yes. One barbell in the net. It's not a very big one. I think it's about seven or eight pounds, but it's just absolutely rawed off, right and rod, downstream rod. Um, I've changed my tactics a bit today, I've catapulted a few more extra boilies in and I've fished a bit further downstream. Now, um, yes, and I've left that out for about probably a good half an hour, an hour and it's absolutely just roared off. We've got the first barbell in the net. Oh, we're just letting him recover, as you can see. Boom, lovely stuff. So. It's just the same rigs and stuff like I've been using all my other vlogs. Yeah. Tuna and garlic, barrel wafter, boom, done the business. So we've let him rest for a bit now, so we'll get away with him, get a few pics, and we'll show you guys. Get in. Well, guys, not the biggest barbell you've seen on these vlogs, but in hard conditions, he's a barbell nonetheless. And let's just hope. This little fella's just part of Mom's come and he'll go back and tell his granddad to get on the feed. Lovely little fish, put up a good account of himself. It's tore off downstream. Pucker barbel, absolutely pristine. Look at him, absolutely fat as a pig. What a lovely fish. On that urban baits, tuna and garlic barrel wafters. I've been um, feeding in the spicy fish and tuna and garlic all the session and finally summer's kicked off so fingers crossed that bit of rain today has got them going and tonight we bag a few more let's get him back happy days
hunting it for a good while. There's the downfall. You can see borrow off doing the remnant of that size six bank tackle lock. Just hanging out. Nice and careful with him. Pop. Beautiful. Pristine. Saved and losing that fish. Boom. Nine pound one ounce. Lovely. River Trent tidal barbell. Show you the other side real quick. this morning Absolutely killing. Come on, man. What a beast. Let's get her back. Oh. So free. In the moment. In the moment. You need to just breathe. In the moment, in the moment 
got very wet foot. Can't <laughs> please. I am buzzing. Come on. I've got one on the Sunday bar. If you look at the